First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 66, verses 10 to 14. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her. All you who love her, rejoice with her in joy. All you who mourn over her, that you may nurse and be satisfied from her consoling breast, that you may drink deeply with delight from her glorious bosom. For thus says the Lord, I will extend prosperity to her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing stream, and you shall nurse and be carried on her arm, and dandled on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem. You shall see, and your heart shall rejoice. Your bodies shall flourish like the grass, and it shall be known that the hand of the Lord is with his servants. The Word of the Lord Second reading A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthian Chapter 13, verse 4 to 13 Love is patient Love is kind Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude it does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now I see in a mirror, dimly, but then we see face to face. Now I only know in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide these three, and the greatest of these is love. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 18, verses 1 to 5 and verse 10. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that they are angels in heaven. Always look up to the face of my heavenly Father. The Word of the Lord My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, Today the Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of St. Therese of Child Jesus, Virgin, Doctor and the Patroness of Mission Land. My dear friends, when we reflect about the life of St. Therese of Child Jesus, there are three predominant factors. The first one is genuine Christian life. Right from the beginning, she wanted to live in order to please her master, Jesus. The second aspect is the prayer life. From the childhood onwards, she had a deep communion with the Lord. And the third aspect was suffering and pain she had to undergo. She accepted 
positively, willingly, joyfully, and offered to all the people, very especially the missionaries. My dear friends, as we celebrate her feast today, let us ask the good Lord to help us to follow Jesus intimately as she followed. And in the first reading today, taken from the book of prophet Isaiah, we are told about the unconditional love of God. It's also compared to the love that a mother has towards her children. So dear friends, we know in the history, the salvation history, how people were so much stubborn and went away from God. But still, God loved them, accepted them unconditionally. And in the second reading, a letter to the Corinthians, we are reminded about the great aspect of love. Love is not mere a word. It's something has tremendous power to transform our lives. So instead of talking about love, let us, as St. Paul says, let us start to love each one of our friends, our brothers, sisters, especially those who need our love. And in the gospel today, we are told about Disciples asked Jesus, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Then Jesus says, unless you become like children, you will not be able to enter the kingdom of God. This is not childish, it is childlike. That is to have qualities of sincerity, purity, obedience, total dependence. Those are the qualities that we need to have in our lives. Let us ask the good Lord to help us to inculcate all these beautiful qualities in our lives. Thank you. God bless you.